Good morning. So everybody has been asking me if I could do a little bit of a, a better video or a more in-depth video about the um, Unify um, APAC EDU. Or I don't know if they're pronouncing it EDU. I don't know, but I do have one unit. I got confirmation that others were shipping. So uh, one other thing I wanted to show you real quick. I don't know if you guys know what this is or not, but this is the uh, the M5 light switch. And man, I hope they don't quit selling these. Uh, you can see it's blinking orange, which means it's not uh, active in uh, my controller right now, but I'm working on changing that. But these, these are great. I uh, also have the plug-in, and then here's an 8-port. We do all kinds of fancy things with these. Things I think are fancy. Maybe not everybody else will be interested in, but let's, uh, let's get back on topic. So when I got the, uh, the first Unify APAC EDU in, it came in a nice box. I posted pictures of that. Um, and, you know, this box had the white sleeve on it, just like all the other Ubiquiti boxes. Um, and it's a big box because it is a big product. So inside the box, there was, of course, the nice uh, little startup book that they give you. They always, you know, Ubiquity, one of the things that I really like about them is that I always get some sort of a mounting bracket. And, man, when you're, when you're a one-man crew sometimes, uh, being out in the field, these things are a time saver and a life saver. So this is the, uh, the adhesive uh, template that you can use for um, cutting a hole in your, your ceiling tile. And then there's a lot of packing material in there. And the, uh, the other packing material is actually being used to uh, hold up the live streaming cam of the Zen Garden. So back to this device. Um, I'm going to set this right here. Okay, so you might think, and, and I'll tell you that I just got some of the new Pro access points, so I didn't really know what to expect on those. But the new Pros do have the USB uh, port too. You got your primary, secondary Ethernet. Uh, these are in, these are labeled AC EDUs though, so I don't know if there's actually you know a difference, something that makes us different. But then behind it, you've got the nice PA speaker. little bit of a devil of a time with this the other day but you can see it just twist right on there the same LEDs the nice new ubiquity logo and this thing is just really um, it is pleasant looking so but let me find my ruler and we'll do some uh, measurements real quick I'm sure that there are gonna be questions about measurements so if we go edge to edge almost a foot in diameter mm. five inches in depth so um, it's, it's pretty nifty you use your uh, template cut a hole in your ceiling tile you slide this guy uh, in, and then you flip flip these over and you adjust these screws and this will this will snug the unit up to the ceiling tile standard um, Ethernet input there so overall I'm I'm really impressed um, let's see if we can get a shot of uh, my controller here this is the beta 5 controller as you can see there's one active WLAN device. So if I go to devices, I called it ITEDU, and this is the model name. You do have to have 
uh, I believe one of the, the newer controller you'd have to check the forum I can't remember off the top of my head which controller you have to have to adopt this guy um, it's got the standard locate and restart you can see I've had it plugged in for 12 days uh, do we have any clients no not, my phones are not connected yet so what I'm gonna do real quick is I am actually going to connect my phone um, uh, connected and you can see um, ITEDU you can group group um, the devices into different uh, broadcast groups so I am actually going to step out of the room because it's likely to have some feedback uh, well actually first let's uh, pull this guy up and we'll see what the default um, volume sounds like comes with three um, tests they are aug vorbis it looks like a format I don't know where these are kept I don't know if they're kept on the controller if they're kept on the device or if they're kept on the access point I haven't really uh, looked into that too much yet at this point welcome to the unified public announcement system so the volume's not all the way up, but you can imagine if that was in a ceiling tile pointing down that you would get you would get pretty good acoustics from that. And um, I'll tell you that when I test this, uh, people like to come by, they see it sitting there, they ask what it is, and we show them and we play with it. I go out in the hallway, and you, know, you can hear this thing, you know, up and down the hallway. So I'm actually going to set it down. I'm going to go out of the room and I'm going to start a broadcast real quick. So you will be able to. Um, get a little bit of that experience. Let's see. This is a little awkward. Most of my testing is done with the device flat or actually mounted. So, I don't know if I can lean it into the camera here. I don't know what kind of response to expect as far as audio goes but looks like we're leaning a little bit so I'll turn the volume down I'll step out of the room and I'll do a a broadcast So I am about 40 feet away from the access point outside, and you should be hearing this. Uh, I obviously won't know until I check the footage, but it should sound pretty good. Actually, I hear echo, so I do hear it here broadcasting. And it probably sounds really good. I, I don't know. Uh, this is the only access point I have at this point. Uh, we are going to be demoing these next week at a facility at a children's museum. And if the test goes well, instead of a traditional paging system, they will put these in and we will use the uh, code provided by Ubiquity to actually give a SIP extension off our phone system so that they can page overhead from our phones. Uh, I could see some really nifty things you could do with this, especially if you have the Ubiquity phones. I'm betting that uh, there's going to be some integration going on there. But I tell you what, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would. And uh, we will see you at the next video. Oh, if there's anything else you want to see about this access point, please let me know and I will try to provide that. Otherwise, like I said, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we'll see you at the next video.